this is going to be a very quick video on uh, handling multiple futures so i have a sample block code already created here i have three functions async1 async2 and async3 the function name and this first block will get delayed for one second second block two and third for three respectively so from the main method i'm calling this function separately so you can see how the output is so the first block is called it waits for one second second code block is called it waits for two seconds third block is called it waits for three seconds so the total duration to complete this code is three plus two plus one five seconds so you can imagine in larger applications where you have multiple functions returning futures and each have their own delay so it would be a, a, a production a, a performance nightmare so there's one way to handle this to re, uh, bring down the execution time so one solution is to run all this code parallelly so for that what I, what we'll do is first i'll co comment this code and it's called let's type future dot delayed now in this sorry it's future dot wait right and here inside this we have to pass a list of all functions asynchronous functions that we are going to call first we are going to call async1 then async2 and async3 right so what this does is this executes all the asynchronous code at once and then we can add a then block to execute when this when all the function is being completed and we'll just print the value and see what value we get right because we are returning value in each of this uh, functions so let's run and see so you can see the duration was uh, lesser than the previous code so what this does is all these three functions is being executed at once and whenever the uh, last function the last the highest duration block which is this third block whenever this is completed all the values is being returned so this block waits so basically uh, the duration for all the function to execute is the duration of the largest block so the, tu the total duration for this to get completed is three seconds only whereas when we called it separately we got three plus two plus one which is six seconds so we drastically reduced the uh, waiting time right so this was one way to handle multiple futures i hope you like this video so uh, show your support by subscribing to this channel see you in the next one